Hello everyone, I'm Saket Singh. I'm working as a software engineer at Google and welcome back to my channel. So guys, our data structures and algorithms ke patterns wali series ki ye ek nai video hai aaj. Aaj hum log baat karne wale hai link list related patterns ke baare mein. Hum logon ne already trees, binary search, sorting in sab ki kaafi saari pattern wali videos daali hai ki kis type ke questions tumhe interviews mein dekhne ko milte hai. Maine already ek video upload kari thi jahan pe maine baat kari thi ki quantity of questions se zyada farak nahi padta. क्वालिटी ऑफ क्वेश्चन से ज्यादा फर्क पड़ता है इट्स काइंड ऑफ लाइक मैथ्स के तुम जितने तरह के क्वेश्चंस करो और फिर उस तरह के एक और क्वेश्चन अगर तुम्हारे पास आता है तो तुम उसको टैकल कर पाओ इस टाइप की कैपेबिलिटी तुमको बिल्ड करनी है डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड एलगोरिथम्स के लिए और इस वीडियो में हम लोग लिंक लिस्ट के ऊपर बात करने वाले हैं कि लिंक लिस्ट से रिलेटेड कौन-कौन से पैटर्न्स होते हैं जो आपको पढ़ने चाहिए सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स जस्ट स्टार्ट बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो इफ यू हैव नॉट येट सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल प्लीज डू कंसीडर सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल वी आर गोइंग टू ब्रिंग सम रियली ऑसम कंटेंट वेरी रेगुलरली ऑन दिस चैनल So, without any further delay, let's just start. So, before starting the video, I would like to tell you guys about the new front-end development with React JS cohort that we are going to launch on AlgoCamp.io. So, if you are going to start your front-end development ki journey start karne wale hai, and you guys are figuring out where to start with, then this is going to be a one-shot solution for you. There will be 300 plus hours of hybrid content. That is, some content will be recorded, some content will be live. There will be a weekly live class for approximately six, six and a half months. Her week, we are a live class in which we will front-end related projects with the interview preparation and interview problem solving karenge, front end development. Regarding. In this whole course, we have 20 se zyada mini projects, five major projects and two capstone projects. You will get all the details in this link. I will pick in this link in the description section below. Right. In this whole course, we have learned about advanced level pe JavaScript, advanced level pe React, Redux और साथ साथ जो भी latest technology आपको front end engineering में चाहिए जैसे कि TypeScript उसके अलावा Next JS ये सारी की सारी चीजें हम लोग cover करने वाले हैं बहुत ही attractive project portfolio हमने set up किया है और साथ साथ ये try करिए कि this is not going to be some regular React course इससे एक बारी में आपको जितना ज़्यादा in depth dive लेने की ज़रूरत है front end engineering के लिए वो लेने को मिले और इन सारे प्रोजेक्ट्स के अलावा जो आपको होमवर्क प्रोजेक्ट्स होंगे जो आपके होमवर्क असाइनमेंट्स होंगे दैट आर एन एडेड बोनस राइट इट्स गोइंग टू बी अ फन लर्निंग जर्नी एंड आई वुड रियली रेकमेंड यू गाइस टू चेक आउट द कोर्स ऑन द फ्रंट एंड डेवलपमेंट विद रिएक्ट जेस व्हिच इज अ हाइब्रिड कोर्स मोर देन 300 प्लस आवर्स ऑफ कंटेंट एवरीथिंग विल बी टॉट बाय मी सो डू चेक इट आउट आई विल पिन द लिंक इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो एंड यू कैन यूज द कूपन कोड front 700 to get some upfront discount and the prices will start to slash so without any further delay do check it out and let's move back to our video now guys let's start talking about what are some of the most common patterns that you will be able to recognize in an interview in the topic of link list right you already know that link list is kind of pretty much one of the most favorite topic when it comes to interviews of companies like Microsoft and Amazon and all of those companies who don't ask extremely difficult questions. Linked list is like definitely a topic where you can expect questions. Now the best part about linked list and the problems related to linked list is that in every problem of linked list, 99% of the time you will be given a linked list and you have to do some manipulation on the linked list. Now, let me explain it to you like this. For a topic like binary search, no one will explicitly tell you that this problem is related to binary search. But in a problem of linked list, the best part is 99% of the time it will be explicitly mentioned to you that we have a linked list, we need to do something related to that. In fact, even in data structures like graphs, trees, it's not mandatory that every time you will be given a situation of a graph. You have to actually eventually reach to a situation when you land up at a graph. Same thing with hash maps and everything. Same thing with stacks as well. Same thing with queues as well. But not always the same thing with linked list. 99% of the time if you are going to use linked list, it will be given in the problem that you have a linked list and you have to do some manipulation on that. This is something that you have to keep in mind. Now if I talk about the patterns of linked list, you can straightforward say that 70 to 80 percent of the linked list problems are anyhow a two-pointer question only. If you have good grip on two-pointers or if you want to have a good grip on two-pointers you should practice more linked list problems because 70 to 80 percent of the problems of linked list will somehow will be involved in two-pointer problems. Let me tell you how. 
so in this there will be multiple set of patterns that we are going to actually talk about okay now one set of two pointer problems are which is of the fast and slow pointer you also call this technique as hare and tortoise hare and tortoise okay what is this fast and slow pointer in a fast and slow pointer you keep two pointers or two variables which move on the nodes of a linked list one pointer moves from one node to the next node whereas another pointer might move to two steps at one point of time or three steps at one point of time whatever you feel like right and there are a lot of problems that will be solved using this if you call about midpoint that's solved using this technique right if you talk about cycle detection or detecting a start of the cycle that is also actually solved by this problem only right so this fast and slow pointer technique is definitely one of the most important and why is that because the midpoint question is actually a subroutine or you can say it's a helper function in a lot of other problems that we are going to talk about from here as well right now there is a modification to this fast and slow pointer that you will see you can call it as another pattern also whatever you feel like where you maintain two pointers at a distance okay you maintain two pointers at a distance for example let's say you have a linked list like this right and you maintain one pointer here and let's say one pointer here right so there is a distance that you are keeping and then you start moving both of the pointers one at a time what will happen is the moment let's say the last pointer reaches null the previous pointer will be actually pointing to the distance from the last for example you can see initially what did we keep we kept the distance as 2 right so let's say if you are given a question like give me the second node from the last right what will be your normal approach in your normal approach if you have to if somebody ask you the second last node of the linked list or third last node of the linked list how will you get it you will first of all get the size of the linked list and then iterate again on the linked list up till that many number of nodes until or unless you reach there but you can solve this question in a single pass how you can keep two pointers both of them at a distance of k assuming that k you are you are trying to find the kth uh, node from the last and then you move both of the pointer one at a time the moment the second pointer reaches last the previous pointer is at the kth node from the last and then there are a lot of problems similar to that kth node n minus kth node from the last all of these kind of problems are actually occurring and to be very honest i i consider both of them in one single pattern only but uh, you can say that fast and slow uh, pointer pattern is a bit different then apart from that there is a very important two pointer pattern that is related to two pointers on two different lists okay for example there is a very very famous question of merge two sorted linked list right there are two linked list given you merge them now in merge two sorted linked list you maintain a pointer on the first list you maintain a pointer on the second list now why i am calling it as a pattern is there are a lot of problems that you can solve using this uh, same uh, technique for example there is a problem to calculate palindrome of a linked list if you want to calculate palindrome of a linked list what you can do you can find the midpoint of the linked list divide the linked list into two parts reverse the second part and then you will be having one list you will be having another list as a reverse part then you can keep two pointers on these list and move both of the pointers one at a time similar question just like merge to sorted linked list right even there are questions like fold this question is also like folding of a linked list that uh, if you are given a linked list like this you want to modify such that after the first node you have the last node then after the last node you have the second node then after the second node you have the second last node and so on you want to fold the linked list like this again in the similar way what you can do you can divide the linked list in the half reverse the second half and then start moving two pointers along with them so this two pointer on uh, two different pointers on two different list kind of a pattern is very very relevant now apart from that there will be one set of problems that will be sorting related problems that you have to apply different sorting algorithms on a uh, linked list for example let's say bubble sort this can be a question to you or merge sort or quick sort all of these problems can exist and to be very honest to apply merge sort and quick sort it's again a two pointer algorithm right because the partition algorithm of uh, quick sort is again a two pointer algorithm 
merge to sorted link list of merge sort is again a two pointer algorithm so it's again related to two pointer that's why i said like 70 to 80 percent of the problems that you're going to see are somehow two pointer problems then there exists one very interesting set of problem that comes from reversal of a link list now if you want to reverse a link list there are multiple ways right in our interview preparation uh, cohort we discuss actually four different ways to reverse a link list right now the thing is that in these four ways there are two iterative ways and two recursive ways okay among these two recursive ways again there is one recursive way which is a two pointer algorithm and what which one is that you actually want to reverse the link list but you don't want to manipulate the pointers you just want to manipulate the data so what do you do is you maintain a link list right then you make a static variable or let's say a global variable as a start and then you maintain a variable inside recursion that you move forward in the link list every time you move forward in the recursion the moment you reach the last node at this point of time the variable of your recursion let's call it as end is at the tail node and this start variable which is the global variable is on the head node now you can see there is a pointer and the last there's a pointer on the start you can start comparing these two pointers and how can we move the two pointers when the recursion call will come back the end pointer will automatically come back to the second last node and because start is a global node or a global variable you can just move start here then again in the next recursive call when it will come back end will come back here and then you can start as a global variable you can move it here and so on so you can see there are again two pointers that you can prepare and then you can bring them both back so using this recursive two pointer technique also you can solve the problem of palindrome fold and everything that we were actually solving by dividing into two pointers but you can see reversal of a link list can also be done and there is another technique as i said there are two reversal technique one more reversal technique is that you have a link list and you want to reverse the pointers now there are a lot of problems that are related to it for example there is a problem of reverse nodes in a group of k that's a direct application of this reversal of a link list right then in the reversal of link list there are two iterative solution one iterative solution is that you reverse the pointers you don't change the data you reverse the pointers iteratively now again a lot of problems are going to be based on the on this reversal algorithm as well why because in this reversal algorithm you maintain a previous pointer current pointer and next pointer there will be a lot of problems in which you have to maintain a previous pointer and a next pointer and the current pointer for example as far as I remember there is a problem of maxima and minima some uh, exact i don't remember the exact problem on lead code but uh, i believe there is a problem of maxima minima and then you have to calculate the minimum distance between two local maxima and two local minima something like that so all of these kind of problems also occur in one pattern so this reversal of a link list i definitely consider as one whole pattern now in problems of linked list there is a small note that i would like to tell you is that sometimes it would be beneficial to take some dummy nodes for example you are doing merge to sorted linked list now students gets a lot of time confused that which node i want to make as the first node because let's say somebody says that you don't you cannot create a new linked list and whatever is the linked list given to you you have to manipulate that in those kind of situations creating a dummy node becomes extremely helpful so just for, for a note i wanted to uh, mention that you should technically try to use a dummy node then there are some miscellaneous problems that doesn't actually lie into this 70 to 80 percent part of two pointers uh of for linked list for example there is a very very famous problem of cloning a linked list now cloning a linked list is again one of the most frequently asked question it's a hard problem because it's a overall ad hoc logic problem that exists on linked list right then uh, there is a problem of populating a random pointer on a linked list that is you are given a linked list apart from data and the next pointer there is a random pointer then again it's a it's a ad hoc problem you have to like logically think that how can you optimize the space that's also an ad hoc problem but apart from these ad hoc problems there are two more set of problems that you can find right one set of problems are going to be lru and lfu cache based problem or you can say these problems are the one which are heavily dependent on doubly linked list let me write it like this here okay so uh, so uh, let, let's uh, wait for the pencil to charge so what i'm saying is there is one set of problems that exist where you are going to somehow use doubly linked list along with some other data structure for example lru cache lfu cache these cache based implementation are heavily dependent on linked list right apart from implementing a lru cache and an lfu cache 
sometimes people can ask you to implement a hash table that's also where link list based separate chaining algorithm can come into the picture and you have to implement link list so what is this pattern this pattern is creation of some data structures that are used in regular software development for example caches a lot of caches are de dependent on link list or w link list based implementation hash map is dependent on w uh, uh, sorry link list based implementation even graphs are dependent on link list based implementation there is a whole implementation of graph that is dependent on link list so this is definitely something i would like to point out as a pattern that using link list there will be a lot of data structures that you are going to construct okay then one last thing is sometimes due to space constraints using arrays or stacks becomes a bit cumbersome in those cases maybe to optimize space if you have very tight space constraint you can use link list otherwise most of the time in online coding test and everything you don't need it but just why i wanted to mention that maybe uh, just for space optimization because actual use case of link list is space optimization so you can use link list there so these are some of the patterns that i wanted to mention and as i said 70 to 80 percent problems are two pointer problems only so the more link list problems you solve the more you will realize that okay it's again a two pointer algorithm coming into the picture even the reverse uh, iterative reverse pointer that I mentioned, it's again a two-pointer algorithm. So a lot of time you will be facing a lot of two-pointer algorithm. So I would highly recommend you guys to explore all of these patterns in detail and try to solve as many questions as possible on linked list.